The popularity of the mini car is sweeping the country like a prairie fire. Many are now being produced in this country and even more are imported from overseas. Well, at any rate, they're descending on the American highways at a fantastic rate. For some, they represent a second car. For others, a fad. And then, too, there's a great many motorists who find them just pure fun to drive. Well, whichever category you fall in, you may want to take a second look at this Opal Mataluxus. <laughs> Alexis is the big news in the Opal line for this year. It uses the same basic body as the 1900 Sport Coupe, which it replaced. Inside, the luxury trim sets this car apart as something special. It gives a pretty stiff ride on this 95.7 inch wheelbase with a 165 by 13 tire size. Special ornamentation and paint colors distinguish the Manta from the rest of the Opal line. It was anything but quick coming off the line. 30 miles an hour took 5.1 seconds. It might do a little better running downhill. With the tires hot, we clocked 45 in nine and a half seconds. The 115 cubic inch engine only delivers about 75 net horsepower with a seven and a half to one compression ratio. 60 miles per hour ate up 16.2 seconds on the clock. In our passing test, 50 to 80 miles an hour took 13.9 seconds and 1,297 feet. Our German Mini was a lot quicker at stopping than starting. From 30, 38 feet. After several high-speed stops, heat buildup was not noticeable. The pedal faded very little. From 50, we ground to a halt in 72 feet. A 70 mile an hour panic stop, a slight correction was necessary to keep it straight. The brakes were cold and it used 191 feet of the asphalt before it stopped. Most of these little imports we've tested have one thing in common. They handle well. The Opal is no exception. The car snaked through the cones in excellent shape. It was while running the pylon course that we learned to appreciate the wraparound bucket seats. They gave good lateral support and with additional padding in the cushion and back, seemed quite comfortable. This head-on run in slow motion shows very little body lean. Front and rear both track well and recovery was good. Even toward the end of the run where momentum buildup is the greatest. Out on the track, we got our tester up to speed and found that cornering was kind of fun. With a bigger mill up front, it could have been an outright ball. On entering a turn, the stability was good and the front end stuck well. There wasn't enough muscle to power it through a turn and even less coming out. But this 1.9 liter engine is the only thing available for the entire Opal line. With the stiff suspension and short wheelbase, riding characteristics are not the best but then that's typical of subcompacts. Visibility in the Opal Manta is excellent. All instrumentation is simple and located directly in front of the driver. Seating room up front is ample. In the rear, ridiculous. As far as the mini category is concerned, we rated the Opal High, and the Manta Luxus is the cream puff of the line. Getting into the subcompact field necessitates a sacrifice in comfort as well as performance. However, we feel that with the Opal, that sacrifice is not as great.